Welcome everybody. This is the Trader Genius Daily Review for Stock Options on March 25th, 2019. Our goal here is to show you that um, it's possible trading options to make a significant percent on a very small time scale consistently and pretty much Monday to Thursday. We believe taking Friday off and enjoying the long weekend because there's more to life than just making money. And uh, our goal is to show you every day this is possible. Well, you know, of course, we're not perfect. We're not going to be showing you every single day, but certainly on a consistent basis, enough days to show you that you can make a good return on your money trading stock options if you have the right tools, the right training, the right mindset, the right coaching, and the right account. So with that, I'm your host, Scott Patton, and joining us as usual is Coach Rob. Coach Rob, it's the 25th of March, and uh, this is the day that uh, breaks all the rules. We weren't able to make any money, and we should have just stayed away, correct? <laughs> well, we had a couple movers, Scott. And oh, so I'm wrong again. Just a couple, yeah. Yeah, most days we'll find them, right? Yeah, this on this day, and uh, what you said, I think the most one of the most important ingredients that you listed was the mindset. And when you start out a day like this, it's very important. There are a lot of traders out there, options traders, stock traders, who are targeting that 945 top or bottom. And in this case, we're going to look at QQQ, which is a NASDAQ index, and we're going to see exactly what it was doing on this day. It was shaping up pretty nicely on a green run, which would give you one indication. And then right around that 945, you could see the top was the same as that Y point. At 9.45, it's really declaring that it's going to be a downward stock. This is cyclical action, happens all the time, but we can make a good good profit on this as well because you can see the power behind it and, and the drop off in price. So we're going to get bring over our buy close button and we'll buy a put option to make money on the way down. And we'll just take it one, one minute at a time and we'll watch this trend shape up. Now, the market is, if you look at your indicator here in the main chart, it's at 100 and it's sunny for red conditions. So the whole bottom is falling out of the market. We, we are guilty of this, Scott, myself, Jess, and, and in our conversations every Friday, uh, in our reviews of each day, we forget how powerful the market is to have behind you. So when you have a market supported move like this, there's essentially take the big picture. Everybody's selling. The whole, the frenzy is a selling frenzy. And that's why it's going red. The prices are dropping. That's what it is. Supply and demand drives the price down. In this case, a big index and we're getting lower lows. It's a pretty powerful thing when the whole market is rolling with it. So you just ride that, that wave, that market wave until it gives you a reason to get out of it because the market conditions are just strong, strong, strong. Here, I would take that as a volume spike. And that's a really yep. good time to exit. Looks like 949. We've only been in this thing for three minutes and we're already sitting at 19%. There's absolutely no reason you need to, to hold on for more than that because it could just be greed or hope hijacking. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and oftentimes we'll notice that volume spikes either start a trend or end a trend. And it obviously, uh, there was a spike where you're just pointing and now there's a spike where where we had it and we don't need to get out a crystal ball or we or what i like to say is the horse race is come on baby just you know one more percent 19 percent in three three minutes uh, is pretty good yeah that's a really good day for any investor or trader so yeah we take that and uh we roll with it as as you want to do let's just double check see what would have happened and a couple minutes later, would have bounced, cycled, tested this line, but we got ours in three minutes. And those uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles after we got out are what we call high stress candles because now you're going, oh my God, am I losing money? And you could very easily give your 19% back, right? So when the big candle shows up to say, get out, and then you decide 
if you want to be aware of your greedy feelings, because that's what comes up. It's like, oh my God, three minutes, 19%, it's gonna go, baby, it's gonna go. And that, of course, is your greed talking. And then as you begin to recognize that voice, he's probably sitting on your shoulder right here. You go, thank you very much for sharing, but I have my rules. And the rules are there because we can get incredibly emotional. Are you not excited that you made 20% in three minutes? Of course you are. You're ecstatic. And that's when greed will whisper in your ear and cause you to lose it. And if it doesn't lose it, you're going to go through you know, seven minutes, as you can see, of, uh-oh, you know, those three candles that are green, that's not good. And I probably gave back the majority of my 19%. Now do I hang in and try to get it back or whatever? So now you've got fear on the other shoulder that's really uh, saying, oh, you're going to lose it all. You're going to lose it all. You're going off a cliff. The world is ending. And neither of those two emotions are going to help you with your trading. But you can't do anything about them unless you're aware. So one of the reasons we like to show you what happens afterwards is the fact that you, you, the reason you didn't get out at 19% was your greed emotion. It's not that you were greedy. I think greedy has shame and blame and everything else around it. It's just an emotion that we have, and it's a normal emotion, right? It's like you go to the buffet and you get three plates when you should only get half a plate. I mean, that's greedy, but it's a buffet, right? So... Same thing happens here. So you need to be aware of when your greed takes over. And this was one of the hardest lessons for me because, Rob, I always said, I'm not greedy. I'm not greedy. I'm not greedy. And then <laughs> I'd always be in that seven minutes, you know, seven minutes after I should have gone out. Finally, Alan said, yeah, like that greed looks like. Oh, okay. So yeah. Scott, this is just for everybody who's been in this situation and you've let your profits be taken away from you, you go from a big gain to a small one or even a loss. This is how you become a victim of your own success, that greed. So keep that in mind. You don't want to be a victim of your own success. Just trade with the system. That means have your rules in place. As you said, don't think twice about it. Just get out. Just get out. All right. Coach's tip for the day. Call it call it that because it's the most powerful one. You cannot let yourself be hijacked by your emotions. Move forward to, to one more on this day, Scott? You bet. You bet. Let's take a look at another one, just in case okay. you slept in and you missed this one. Yeah. Well, let's take it to the 11 o'clock hour. And I want to take a look at one of the, a different index. It's an index day, actually. So move forward to 11.09. I'm going to show you what happened with IWM at this moment. I'm going to go ahead and go to all your term candles. There you go. So we, I mentioned before about that 945 top, that would be right here. And it also happens to be a really big price point. Now, this, this is another talking point that we frequently comes up when we review a, a trading day is what happens with these big round numbers? Well, it's nothing magical about them. It just happens that we're human beings. And when we see round numbers, we tend to put buy and sell orders uh, in vicinity of those big numbers. So, and, and there are a ton of other traders out there with different strategies. So they may have different designs on what's gonna to happen to this stock around 150. In this case, it punches through 150 and that 945 top with some volumes, the, the nicest volume you've seen since that 10 o'clock hour. So this is a pretty good time to enter by a call because it's at the high for the day. The CLV is at 98, so it's nearly at its high price for the day. And let's just watch one minute at a time. I'm gonna use my, we're in the replay simulator, so I get to use my finger and move forward one minute at a time. We'll watch this trade take shape. And these candles are just stacking up. Wow. Higher highs. And look at the volume sustained. Now, in, in just a handful of minutes, it's gone from that 150. And this is, I mean, this is the true, true to form breakout that we look at, look for in our trend trading. This is this is trading with the system, trying to find these higher highs. At this point, it's touched 151 and you're at 24%. I mean, that's pretty good. You're hitting 30 as it breaks 151. If you're in this territory, this is what we're talking about. Just take the money and run. You did enough work to earn this, so don't let it slip away from you. Just, just take it. Just do the rational thing and exit here, especially because what would get me out of this trade is the approaching 
1130 time window. So time windows have a pretty big effect, just like we talked about volume spikes, begin and end trends. Yeah, same thing generally happens with, with time windows. And we're talking the tops and bottoms of the hours are the most notorious for this. IWM has been going for a while, 30%. Thank you very much. We'll put that out of our pocket. And on the day, we got two indexes, which, you know, they're, they're very low price. If you don't know, then they're options, which are very low price contracts. And you generally buy a large number of contracts to get a big tradable chunk. In this case, they moved 19 and 30%. I'm just a Amazing. Yeah, it's a good day. But that'll do. We'll just do two for today. Awesome. Thank you, Rob, for sharing this. Uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. Hopefully, see the, you see the power of uh, trading stock options. You can make a lot of money in a short period of time. A good percentage, anyway. How much money you make depends on how many contracts you buy. And it's, a, it's pretty amazing. We have a 10-day free trial of the software and an opportunity for you to talk to the coach who will walk you through how to use it. We also have co courses on uh, how to use the software and uh, uh, courses on the mindset. So if this is something that uh, you're interested in, check the description below for links to learn more. And we look forward to having you join us. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.